And our other top story at this hour, former Macomb County prosecutor Eric Smith is expected to plead guilty to federal criminal charges. Those charges announced today detail what the feds say was a plot to funnel campaign funds into Eric Smith's back pocket. And prosecutors say it involved everything from alleged secret meetings in a stairwell to bogus rent payments. Defender Sean Lay is live tonight to help walk us through this case against him. Sean, good evening. Good evening to you, Kim. Let's also take you right inside this case to the very beginning. There was a major red flag, we are told, to investigators that was right in the home of Eric Smith. We'll tell you about that. We're also getting tonight instant reaction that the feds are saying they are pushing for prison time for the former prosecutor. I mean, it's a sad uh, reality. You know, I've known Eric a long time. Let's face it. If you're a public official, you can't use your public office for personal gain. Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle reacting to former Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith likely headed to prison after agreeing to plead guilty to federal obstruction of justice charges. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider dropping the bombshell news today. Schneider says when Smith got wind that he was under investigation for stealing from his own campaign fund, Schneider says Smith launched a cover-up campaign polling assistant prosecutors into office stairwells, making sure they didn't have cell phones on them to record anything, and then told them to lie to the FBI. Smith suggested that he and the assistant prosecutor create a fake consultant contract to explain away the $20,000 that they had stolen from Smith's campaign fund. Prosecutor Smith knowingly and willfully obstructed an ongoing federal investigation. Hackle says the downfall of Eric Smith, what got his eyes and so many others on Smith's alleged use of county money, was the twenty to $30,000 elaborate security system Smith had installed in his home. It wasn't just a security system. It dealt with, you know, monitoring of, you know, certain uh, things in the home, whether it was the uh, fire system, it was to monitor uh, the sump pump system. Uh, so there was a lot of other monitoring uh, that the system did other than just the video cameras, uh, you know, in and around his home. Yeah, it was the first thing that came to our attention, but there were a multitude of other things uh, that were paid for out of those accounts. Back here live, Mark Hackle says they started questioning these expenditures long ago and says there was pushback here. He is saying tonight, expect more people to be charged in the public sector and he says perhaps even the private sector. And we haven't even begun talking about Eric Smith facing state charges for his alleged use or rating of a forfeiture fund to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars. Guys, uh, no response from Eric Smith or his attorney today. Back to you. Yeah, Sean, uh, what are you learning or hearing about how the feds got Smith to plead guilty to the obstruction charge? Charges. Is there audio or, or, or video of these alleged crimes going down inside the prosecutor's office? We did ask that because the U.S. attorney announced the charges and then he announced that Eric Smith had agreed to uh, plead, plead guilty, guilty to the right. charges. So what did they have on him? I am told by sources that investigators started asking the questions. They got pushback and then they started asking more pointed questions with more evidence and people in the know started answering, started talking right away. Okay, Sean, we appreciate it.